Master Ken here with another Secret Street Fighting Tip. Anyone who has been to their local grocery store recently has noticed that certain products are flying off the shelves. Non-perishable canned goods, bleach, hand sanitizer, and of course, toilet paper. The main reason for this is that every time you turn on the news to learn more about the worldwide pandemic, people are literally shitting themselves. What a lot of you don't realize though, is that this product can also be used in self-defense. That's why today's video is all about toilet paper tactics. All right, so the number one challenge with deploying TP tactics is locating the product itself, because most places are sold out. Right now, you can get my special Ameridote branded toilet paper, one regular size roll for $49.99, or for $99.99, you can get the Magnum. So just order whichever size fits your situation. But let's say that you've already got a couple of regular sized rolls you're traveling with some bounty on your belt because it's an open carry state. You happen upon a stalled citizen who's trying to squeeze the Charmin. He asks you to spare a square. You politely decline. He becomes aggressive. Now it's time for you to apply some Ameridote, or more accurately, two-ply. He attempts a two-strike combination and you roll with the punches. You stun him by striking him on the nose with a tissue tap. He attempts a choke. But you neutralize his attack with a tubular twist. Now it's time for you to flush out your opponent with an enemy enema. You're gonna give him an old iron palm colonic and he's about to have a very bad day. Or as the Australians would say, bidet mate. He knows his situation is about to unravel so he reaches out for me. It's important to note in the application of the next part of this technique, you always want your toilet paper roll facing out. Never have it facing in. Don't do this. Every civilized person in the world knows you put the TP roll facing out. So, I tie the TP to his wrist, perhaps in a rolling hitch, or maybe even a sheet bend, because it's now time for me to dispense with this mummified mugger. Now that he's all tied up, it's time for me to attack his groin with a modified thrust of freedom, a move that I call the Cardboard Combative Collision. Uh, sometimes in the excitement and friction of combat, the hip area will become engorged, it will swell, and sort of like a Chinese finger trap. So uh, you don't want to yank it because you could permanently damage your genital area. So all you can really do is just wait it out. Eventually the swelling will go down. There. Once you're free, it's time to wipe out your attacker with a clean sweep. And as always, restomp that groin. I'm Master Ken, that was another Secret Street Fighting tip. Us. I'll be right back.
Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.